Hi, I'm Henry Lee of BlueHeronArts.com. I'm doing a name chop, an artist name chop for Richard Atwell. So um, here's the the characters. For the first name are uh, actually Chinese uh, last name comes first. Uh, we we use the character I meaning love. And for Richard, we use zhi shou, um, which together means uh, loving hands. Shou means hands. Um, zhi has no meaning, just uh, in Chinese there's no ing, or uh, we use uh, zhi. So I zhi shou means loving hands. That's what uh, uh, Richard asked me. Uh, the phrase like she, he likes to use as uh, his uh, artist name. And here is the design. This is the computer design and this is my uh, hand design. So you can see the difference uh, already, right? When we carve, we make it uh, look very uh, old, ancient uh, seal. Um, let me use a uh, reference here. can see the mirror image, same as my. I usually carve the marginal area to test the stone. I'll make a little... Okay. I'll change the shape a little bit later. Let's do the the carbon now on the characters. So the character I of love. We do this in a uh, positive carving. The character the strokes will be in red. So I carve out the background. Leave leave the stroke. We call it the young or positive carving. Different knife. I use a smaller knife to go for the details here. This is a soup stone. It's very hard but a very fine texture. Not that hard to the extent you cannot compare with uh, chinky or other kind of stone, common stone. It's relatively hard.
The design was transferred onto the stone with a, uh, a laser printout and acetone liquid. So it's as if I uh, printed on the stone. But you know, to carve it is feel very different from the computer uh, mouse. I can feel the, you know, the, the hardness of the stone and the Physically, I enjoy more uh, painting or carving than computer design because it connects my mind with body. You know, when we work with the virtual world or virtual reality reality world, we kind of forgot our lost connection with our body. By practicing art or crafts, we come back to our body. We feel the muscle. You know. So I like to get my hand dirty when I paint or use a knife instead of mouse to carve actual stones. Someone asked me to design uh, a digital stone and you can carve yourself but I uh, give up that idea because uh, the carving actual stone is not like uh, using computer, you know, it requires some skill. You need a lot of practice to develop. Now it comes to the last character show or the hands, the hand. More like the pictograph, so it's the uh, fingers. Thank you.
leaving out my left hand use more force because it hold the stone without the you know the the utensil we use it's kind of hard but uh, give me more flexibility you coordinate two hands well in this way it's more difficult to do the stone with this kind of end it's not stable Now in the natural look of the uh, ancient seal, the, um, because it's casted on the, on the bronze, sometimes you will distort the shape, the, the, you know, the lines are not absolutely straight. Also because the age effect, you know, the, when you get old, you got broken, sometimes uh, rusted. Just like you create this kind of, uh, this kind of effect, like a vintage. On my shirt, you can see the, the broken lines here. Uh, we try to create this kind of vintage effect, uh, like you you have on the fashion, you know. So sometimes you it's, that's the difficult part uh, to create different uh, look than the computer font. So make a little bit. Uh, Broken so here and there. This also gives us a lot of room for artistic creation. You can merge uh, or like I merge some uh, characters. I mean strokes here, and uh, sometimes uh, you can break it. You can see in the original. Uh, computer design, there, there is so many little space I put on the um, 
actually see what if I make it look like uh, the ink got smeared, you know. I think uh, we can make a, an imprint and uh, then decide what to do. Now I'm ready to make a first imprint. Like you, I'm very curious what uh, my seal will look like because uh, this is a unique stone. It's very irregular shape. This is the okay. Wow, pretty nice. Yeah, I think uh, looks good. Uh, I'll take out this extra margin and uh, some extra dots. Probably I'll leave some of those to make it look uh, like sandy, you know, uh, stone texture. This actually. Um, it's intentional that I make uh, this the uh, margin and the, the character merge together and break a little bit so you look uh, uh, not as stiff as the original uh, the, the script. So this is a uh, part of the artistic consideration. So you can still recognize it, even with the incomplete, uh, incompleteness. It's also part of the antique uh, idea, you know, the broken. Now let's uh, make uh, the second imprint. Next to this one. I 
you can see um, I clean up this margin maybe a little still too heavy or we'll knock a little bit uh, chip a little bit on that and uh, that's pretty much now the official imprint on this uh, open leaf paper oh kind of nice I like it Okay, now I'm going to show um, Richard how to sign your name in Chinese uh, characters and uh, you can write your name in uh, standard script or the running style. First, the standard script I love to so hand Either on this side or this is on this side. And also, uh, you can sign in raining style or cursive style. Thank you, Richard, for trusting me to do your names here. And uh, thank everybody for watching. If you need a name chop or mood seal, please go to blueheronarts.com and select your stone and uh, your uh, name or phrase to be translated. Thank you. Goodbye.